The Cuban Missile Crisis is an important event that took place in the 1960s. It's also an example of um, a Cold War um, incident between the United States and the USSR. So Cuba is an island located 90 miles off the American coast. In 1959, the um, Cuban dictator, a guy called Batista, he was overthrown by Fidel Castro, who wanted to install a communist regime um, in Cuba. In response to this, the United States stopped trading with Cuba and stopped buying their main export, which was Cuban sugar. The USSR saw this as an opportunity to have an ally close to the United States, and so they started buying Cuban sugar. In 1961, President Kennedy and the CIA developed a plan for the invasion of Cuba. Um, this was called the Bay of Pigs. Basically, they were going to use Cuban exiles in the United States. Um, they had them land on Cuba, um, but it was a colossal disaster and the Cuban exiles were outnumbered 300 to 1. In October of 1962, a U-2 spy plane saw Soviet missile bases being installed in Cuba. Um, Cuba said that they were just building um, a soccer pitch and I love it when um, you come across these little details in history where like the reasoning or the excuse behind something is just so random um, but anyway um, the United States was incredibly concerned about these missile bases because all major US cities including Washington, New York, Chicago they were now going to be within range of Soviet missiles the Soviet leader Khrushchev said that the missiles were there to defend Cuba and he argued that it was the same as the United States having missiles in Turkey. President Kennedy ordered a naval blockade of Cuba. The United States put their air and navy forces on DEFCON 2. Um, basically, the United States was blockading Cuba. You have Soviet ships headed towards Cuba um, with missiles on them. Um, and it kind of looked like the world was headed towards nuclear war. Um, frantic negotiations took place between the United States and the USSR to try and avoid this potential conflict. On the 28th of October 1962, the USSR promised to remove its missiles from Cuba um, and the United States said they'd promise like, not to try and invade Cuba. The Cuban Missile Crisis is significant for a number of reasons. It really scared both the United States and the USSR um, and both sides realised they would not risk the outbreak of nuclear war. And we see the Cold War enter a period of detente, so like a relaxing of tensions between the two. A special phone line was set up between the White House and the Kremlin um, to try and, I suppose, improve uh, kind of communications between the two. So that if there was ever a future issue, they'd have kind of direct contact or access with one another. In 1963, both countries signed a test ban treaty on nuclear weapons. Um, so they said they would stop um, above ground testing of nuclear weapons. And then finally, the United States also secretly removed its missiles from Turkey, um, which, would, which would have put um, key Soviet cities uh, within range of American missiles.